Hey guys, Donnie Wrights out here, Bookmakers Review, Wednesday night NCAA basketball action, two top 25 teams that I want to take a look at here, blowouts could be on the horizon. Now, one of these lines is a little bit tricky. Let's take a look at South Bend. Number 25, the Pitt Panthers going on the road to take on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Now, typically you'd say, they'd be like, hey, man, Irish probably really good. Pittsburgh Panthers probably not so good. They complete opposite this year. Look at Pitt in the ACC, 14-4. and four. What a surprise there. And also, equally, Notre Dame at 2-16 and 16 overall in ACC play. There are some outside-the-line things coming in and factoring into the this game. Bray is going to retire the head coach here for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish at the end of the season. This is the last home game, so it will be a little bit emotional from a Notre Dame perspective. Do they want to win? Absolutely. Can they win? Maybe, but again, 2-16 and 16 in the ACC. It's not a good basketball team. They're playing for their coach. Pittsburgh is playing for an ACC regular season championship, which they need to win this game and then handle their business down in Miami this weekend. You gotta be able to do this because... Notre Dame is a bad basketball team right here. Also, Notre Dame, Hammond, and also Starling look like they might be missing this game tonight. One of those players, Starling for sure, is not going to suit up. So down two starters and playing against a pit team, that is much, much better with a lot to play for. The line does look short at minus three and a half. We've seen this play out all season long. Ranked road teams going on the road and losing. Yes, I understand that. But a little bit different equation here. The end of the season, Pitt is not just playing out the string to get to the ACC tournament. They're playing out the string to win an ACC championship. You know you're going to get their best fight tonight, and I do believe it's enough to knock off the Fighting Irish. How about this one? Let's go out west tonight. Chicago State is taking on Gonzaga tonight. Yes, you heard that right. Chicago State. 11-18 and 18 on the season, 3-18 and 18 on the road going up against the Zags, who are 14-1 and one at home and have already clinched a piece of the WCC championship for the regular season. The rubber match probably going to come in WCC tournament play where they can win that outright and take home even more bragging rights away from St. Mary's. But before they do that, they have to win this game. But how serious is Gonzaga going to take this? Now, granted, they don't want to have a bad performance before going into their conference tournament. We understand it. It's a little bit awkward that Chicago State is just going to go out there and play a game against Gonzaga, but the one thing I do know for sure, the first half should be popping. Chicago State is a terrible offensive and defensive team. Gonzaga, number one in the country on offensive efficiency. They should absolutely fillet the Chicago State team in the first half. That's why, instead of focusing on a full game, which might be as high as 28 points as a favorite here, no, 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 no. Let's go first half. Minus 14 and a half at a minus 140 price. It is juicy. There's no doubt in my mind that Gonzaga is going to be up close to 20 points at the break and then cruise to victory in the second half. Two ranked teams with opponents here that they certainly should be able to beat down. Let's go to a night in college basketball and get the party started. I'm Donnie Wrightside for Bookmakers Review, and as always, good luck on those wagers.